What's going on guys? Today I'm going to share with you some 3D printed products that I recently received. I got these from a, a, a subscriber slash friend, his name is Blake. It goes by uh, this EFB Motorsports, I don't know if you can see it on the headlight here. I'll link him in the video. He's starting out creating some 3D printed products such as these headlight ducts with the projectors on them. Gauge pods, which take the place of the center vent. <clears throat> this is a radio delete, or if you wanted pods there instead. He was nice enough and generous enough to sponsor, sponsor these to me for my channel and for my builds. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get these thrown on today. I wanna see how they look, and I have a track day coming up here shortly. So we're hoping that these help. If you've been following the channel, you know this car is supercharged. It's not making a lot of power, of course, but supercharger, regardless, creates a lot of extra heat. Where I live and where I'm at now, it's gonna be 100 plus degrees. So I'm hoping this can just help bring a little bit more cooler air to the intake. I'm just gonna throw this one on because I think it'll look great on both sides. And I think the additional air going into the engine bay could just only help keep the temperature for that supercharger a little bit better while we're out there at the track. So let's get started, throw these on, see how it looks. I almost feel like they're too pretty for the car, but you know what, this car is functionally built. So I think these would be perfectly fit in with what we're doing on this vehicle. So here they got both of them on. Pretty easy to install headlights on these cars. I should have probably taken the damn thing to get registered first because I'll have to swap them out to do that, but you know, it doesn't take long. It took me maybe like 20, 25 minutes. It's messing around more with the wiring, had them, the plugs reversed. So now it's kind of cool because the high and low beams, the way he has these set up with the wiring, they are both integrated into the projector. Let me show you. So say just when we turn the headlights on regularly, let me focus in on my hatch. You can see just the regular and then we hit the high beams. So that's, that's super sick because you still retain functionality. I wonder if that would actually work for passing registration because you know, it still technically has low and high beams. Oh, those dudes can be pain in the butt though. And then it has, it's hard to see, there you go. Like this filament right here that he added. Gives it a little more light, it kind of lights up the whole housing. I think they look freaking sick. Really cool setup. Let me get this put back together. I wanna see how it looks with the bumper and everything back on. Before I get the bumper put on, the intake put on, I also wanna share that with the headlights he provides these, uh, these little adapters and it has included hardware. Now these depend on, say if you have a K series or B or D series, these attach to the back of the housing. See how it already has uh, the threaded nuts in there? So you could have whatever you attempt to build, say if you have some sort of piping, you could attach it to this and then just have that bolt up to there, which is really cool. Or just leave that on there as an adapter so you can run a tube on there. Really, really cool accessory that it comes with. And another thing is, he also provides the hardware for the corner lights. It has um, the little clamps, which once you screw in the corner light, it'll sit in its spot. And what he did, which is super duper smart, he left them, there's no hole there already, because you know, and I'm sure any of you guys that have had ES before, when you put a corner light on, they are never seem to be in the same spot. So depending on your car, where you're happy with, you can drill the hole and then put that little clamp on there and you're set for your car instead of trying to like see how this one's already broken, maybe from a stretched screw in the past. And then this one over here, I kind of set it up in here. This one's broken too, but it's a little bit different area. So I think that was really smart that he didn't tap those for a hole already. And here is a finished look at them installed. Man, I love the way these look. See right there? You can see the filter, so that air is gonna directly hit the filter. 
giving it a little bit cooler intake charge. Went ahead and cleaned my bumper, of course, just for, for the purpose of it looking nicer with the headlights. I, I kind of like how they're white. The white looks really nice, so if the car is white, I think these would look badass on a painted white car. Now, if the car's a darker color, maybe the black ones would look better. I've seen plenty of black 3D printed headlights. I was unsure how these would look, but after getting them on this car, even though it is poorly painted white and now with a blue door, it looks so much nicer. Let me turn the lights on real quick. Put the brights on as well. Hopefully I can catch it. It's probably overexposing it. But here's a good look at how they look finished up. Here's a look at my current gauge setup. One thing I did was trim the gauge mounting bracket. It wasn't deep enough in the sides of the pod. When I was putting this bracket on, it wouldn't go down far enough where I could get the nuts mounted on. So something you may need to do with your gauge depend on the depth of the gauge. So first off, here's that block off plate. Screws into the OEM location. Looks really sharp. And with the cover back on, it's, it's very flush. I love it, this looks great. Now, for the pod itself, this is a prototype version that he sent me. We're just making sure it fits well, and it looks like the fitment is spot on. He did something which I think is fantastic. If you look here on the sides, he has these Allen head screws. What those do, they screw into these little brackets. You're gonna mount them just like this. And he was telling me that once you put them in, it's really hard to get this out without potentially breaking these. So he included a bunch of extras for me. I don't know if he will do that for every single one he sells, but there's a total of four sets here. So say if you break one off one side, great. Unscrew it and replace them on the other side. Unlike an OEM one, like look at this one. This one is still there, but this plastic piece, it looks like it did break. It didn't actually break on this one yet. It's just missing the little metal the metal piece, but I've seen a handful of those broken and maybe just missing that metal piece which holds it into place. So, very uh, innovative idea, very, very smart. Now, if you're wondering why I only have just a boost gauge, I prefer my air fuel ratio gauge over here, just peripherally when I'm driving. I like the way this looks and being able to see it. I put the boost farthest away because I feel like it's least important. I have two other glow shift that I wanted to just put here, that way they all match. Uh, I have a water uh, temp and then the oil pressure that I got used from a friend a while back and I figured it would be great to just uh, install them in here. So I'm going to put these mounts, these clips on really quick and then mount up the pod. Here's a look at those brackets mounted. Let's get it pushed in here and see how well it is. It looks like a little tight. Okay, push that side. Oh man. That is solid. I love it. I don't know if... Yeah, it seems like it's tough to get out, so I might potentially break it, but I'm gonna leave it. I don't wanna, you know, maybe I had a screwdriver on the side. I could probably pry it with two hands, but it is in there now, and it is fitting very well. I'm not gonna attempt to pull it out now. I can always respond in a later video, maybe even in the description or comments when I do decide to install the other gauges. I'll let you know how I went about removing it. I'm gonna also ask the creator how, if he has any suggestions on maybe trying. Normally I would probably use a screwdriver on the side. I would hate to break it there though. So I think maybe since there's not a gauge in there, it might be difficult to get out. So if you're installing one of these, it's probably smart to just get all your gauges wired up, everything ready to go, test them, make sure they're working, then put it into place because you're probably not gonna mess with your gauges for quite a while. And with the headlights and the interior parts installed, one last thing I want to share is these. These are the windshield wiper cowl. These are hardware for it to replace any of the broken ones that you may have on your vehicle. And so how they work, when you tighten the Allen head screw, it expands the base of the nut into there. And I put one on my car just to show you, and I know this is a very bad example because mine is spray painted terribly white. But look how nice and flush and clean those look. That'll look really nice if obviously your car, most of them are going to be black and be looking really sharp. So that'll be a nice upgrade if you're missing some of those covers, that little plastic nut that's in there. Usually they're deteriorated on all of these cars. 
So another excellent product that he's come out with. I think he's just really hitting it, hitting the nail on the head with the headlights and everything else he's created so far. And I'm super grateful and thankful that Blake and team have decided to take care of me and sponsor me all these parts for this car. I know this is the prettiest car, but this car is a fundamentally and functionally sound, very fun car to drive now. Headlights look cool. I'm gonna replace the cowl. I actually have an extra cowl. I'll get that replaced probably soon. I do wanna work on the body of this car now. The car's running great. And then with the pod, the block off plate, I can only imagine what other stuff he comes out with. I can't imagine he's gonna make anything that won't be functionally or still look really nice, but Thanks a lot for checking it out. If you guys haven't already followed him on Instagram, make sure you do so for 500 followers. He's gonna have some giveaways that maybe a pair of headlights, maybe some interior stuff, random things here and there as he's growing, but make sure you give him a follow. Definitely uh, would be beneficial, possibly win some free product. And if not, take a look at what he has to offer. Got some cool stuff coming out. These headlights are also made in black. Had I not mentioned that before, can't remember. Thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Next week, we're gonna take this car out to the track and we're finally gonna get some seat time in it and see how it does. We'll see you then.